So we can call the meeting to order then. Uh, it's a finance committee meeting, uh, the 15th of July, and it is at uh, 5.30. So we are going to start. And basically tonight's meeting is we just have some year end uh, line transfer items. And so we can just quickly, David, maybe you can go over anything that you want to tell us about these items. We can do a quick vote and that'll be it. And, uh, and I have an announcement. Okay. All right. So, but uh, the, the transfers are due today. So if uh, you'd be kind enough to take a vote. It's drips and drabs of uh, one account or another it comes up to a grand total of $4,501. Um, we've already taken care of the larger transfers earlier. So this is just the final cleanup of our FY20. Okay, sounds good. The only one I was uh, wondering was uh, the, I, I did go over them. Read them all, uh, the town hall expenses. Is that a bunch of little things or did you have one particular big thing? No, let's see what the, and what the, still not very big, but big. Sorry, Val. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> it's hard with the math, huh? But I like the I like the bees. Huh? The bee in math. She yeah. likes the bees on your mask. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can just ignore me and I'll just say yes. Um the shortfall is a bunch of little things. We have electricity went over by a hundred and fifty dollars. Heating went no, that's uh sewer was over by forty two dollars. Technology was over by $3,000. Everything else came in in the black and the net effect is $1,407. And here's, here's the printout right there. Great. All right, does anybody have any questions? No? Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. I'll second it. Okay. There's no other questions. All in favor? Aye. 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 For the record, that's a unanimous vote of the Finance Committee on $4,501 of transfers to tidy up the books for FY20. Okay. Um, so we uh, we had an accountant, uh, Eric Kinscher. Uh, we had a contract that expired uh, through June 30th. Uh, we were negotiating for renewal. Uh, this is the regional accounting service uh, provided for by the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. And the contract negotiations simply did not work. So the accountant decided to not serve the town of Hadley. Uh, we still have Mary Beth Erickson uh, as our accountant. And if you remember, she was the one who helped bridge between Justin Cole's organization on January 1st to the beginning of on March 3rd. So she can do the work. She can um, make sure the vendors get paid and the payroll gets processed. But I just wanted to let you know that uh, we were not able to negotiate a successor contract with Kinsher. So I have a few questions. So yeah. you said she can do the work. And are, are we keeping her as a regular? Why do we, is there a reason why we don't have her as just the accountant? Yeah, so we're, we're looking at all of our options right now. Um, right now we're waiting for a list of open items for Kinsher, uh, the things that they didn't uh, complete for us. So um, once we have that, we'll have a better sense of what she can do. Um, we are exploring other options. Uh, right now, Mary is a vendor, not an employee. And so we'll come back with a full range of options on at the select board meeting of August 5th. Okay. Do you point. have a group that's helping? Is there a group, you know, are you doing, is it just, are you going to the select board or how are you getting the option? Yeah, so I've let the select board know and I'm taking this opportunity to let you all know. Okay. Um, 
Linda Sanderson and I are working on this principally together. Okay. All right. So is this not too big of a bump in the road, really? And if I had to think of a worse time for a small town not to have an accountant, I couldn't come up with a different time than now. This is a All right. This problem. is this is not good news. Yeah. Um, we have to finish out 2020. We have to kick off 2021. We have to get the audit done. We have um, to get the free cash certified. We need to uh, 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 gear up for the big borrowing and the bond uh, rating review. So there's a lot of work to be done. Um, you know. We can we can handle the the immediate issues right now, but we need to make sure that we understand the full scope of what we need to do and whether one person can handle it or if we need additional talent. So this is something the select board and you are going to figure out. Yeah, if you know of an accountant, you know, send them my way. What do we have for? I'm sure you've already done the research. Or the local, uh, everyone around us, who they are using. Yeah. So um, our auditors, uh, Melanson, mm -hmm. formerly in Melanson and Heath, uh, um, they're getting into the municipal accounting. So we have a conversation going with them about doing that. They would be an excellent group that would take over. Mm -hmm. I'll be meeting with the FERCOG on Friday. Um, there is a person in Phillipston who does this kind of work, so I've sent a, a bunch of emails to her. Uh, and if we have to, we can we can continue beating the bushes and see what we can do to about coming up with account, accounting services. It just seems like uh, someone ought to get into that field because there's always a shortage. It seems like that oh, would yeah. be a great niche to get into. <laughs> Is this job of our town enough to support one person? As a, like, if there's a one person firm, could they just do town badly as a one client? Is it a not big enough job? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you've got a $22 million budget. You've got a lot of complexity to the town. Um, we're prepared to uh, pay seventy-two thousand for the vendor service, so you know you could make a living doing that. They could pick up one or two other clients too, and they could do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You want to sign that? Yeah, I, I'm going to have to get. Uh, I thought I had. I have a pen. Sorry. All right. That way I can scan it in and get it over to Mary tonight. Thanks. Thank you so much. Anything for me while you have me here? When does the new town administrator start with you? Uh, they are doing the background check on this uh, right now. That is expected to be complete on Friday. Um, in the meantime, they're negotiating contracts, and we will um, we will find out. Um, my hope is that we have a new person in place on, or a new person confirmed on August fifth, and they have to give their customary thirty to sixty day notice to their current mm -hmm. employer, and then uh, we have somebody on beginning of September or thereabouts. And I'm on until December 31st, so we have uh, we have a lot of overlap. Mm -hmm. Great. I listened to uh, part of the interviews and stuff. I thought he was very good. I, I liked what he had to say. I thought he seemed like he came with a lot of experience, and he seemed like a very nice job. Yeah. So that's it. Okay, uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Okay. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking time out for a small bit of business on a beautiful day, but uh, it's very helpful.